Should you be dating someone from St. Lucia? Is the question you want answered today. So it's only right your favorite international lover gives you some reasons why you should be dating them. Starting with the fact that you will get a pretty good dancer on your hands because they come from such a rich and diverse culture, which comes as no surprise when you know the history of how they came to be. So if you're someone who has two left feet, they will surely carry your dead weight and make both of you look good. And the way I like to party, that's a damn good thing. Also, you'll probably quickly notice how in shape they are. And even though that might be due to dancing, I can also contribute it to the fact that they have those giant mountains on their island. So in other words, you're gonna have a pretty active girl. So get used to some hiking trips, or at least a nice long swim at the beach. This will motivate you to be in better shape. And it will be all thanks to the beautiful lady that you're dating. And nobody can complain about that. Now another thing you'll notice is that she'll be the very first person by your side if anything ever goes wrong. Which to me shows me that they develop deep bonds with people. And that to me is something you need in a partner. I mean imagine you fall on hard times. Only for your girl to run off with another guy. It's enough to make you throw up. But women from that island really seem to care about your mental health. So you can definitely expect someone you could talk to. Which means you're going to end up having very fond memories of them. And that again is a phenomenal blessing. Now I must also mention that they come from a unique situation when it comes to male and female ratio on that island. And by that I mean that there's more women than men. Which means lower competition baby. And that might be the reason why they live in so many other countries. It's like the country has to export beautiful women. And that is something no one's going to complain about. About. But you better beware that you still have to be interesting. I mean, this girl doesn't want to date someone who's dull and boring, even if options are limited. So you better step your culture game up. Now, another thing you'll find is someone who genuinely respects you and takes your point of view into consideration, which to me is the linchpin of any relationship. And it can make or break a couple. I mean, I've seen people who completely lack respect for their significant other. To the point it looks like they're being bullied when they're out in public. I mean, come on. We've all seen that one guy who's being yelled at in public. It's like the girl doesn't even care that they're in a restaurant. It's all about tearing the person down and a giant lack of self-awareness. So be grateful if you're dating someone from St. Lucia because that will most likely not be your problem. Also, you'll discover how passionate she is about certain things because they are very expressive people and you'll find yourself getting caught up in their energy, which will uplift your spirit and motivate you to do better. I mean, you haven't lived till you heard Shorty speaking Creole. It's like smooth, silky butter with a dash of jalapeno. It's borderline contagious. And this will be someone that's part of your life for a long time. Also, they don't behave like money-hungry vultures, which has become the common trend amongst a certain group of women. I mean, people have to realize that men don't want to be treated like an ATM machine. And if they do get treated like that, don't be surprised when someone is treated like an object. Because at the end of the day, if a man is buying, then someone must be selling. But when you date someone who likes you for you, the game immediately pivots towards family and wealth, which is what most people are looking for. It's just that society has made them scared to admit it. But when you're dating a woman from that particular island, just know that she loves you for you. And because of that, it makes them a very dependable mother. So you won't have to worry about someone abandoning your child into the arms of another family member. Because another trend is having grandma raise the kids. Even though she's broken, lives on the edge. I mean, what can be more depressing than dating someone who refuses to try? For God's sakes, it's almost criminal what I've seen some women doing. And the crazy part is people are cheering them on. So thank the stars for St. Lucia. But now I must say that the icing on the cake is the fact that her cooking will be on some five-star level. I'm talking big boy meals, my friend. The type of cooking that will develop your dad bod. And the type of cooking that will have you rushing home. I mean, I've seen and tasted almost every traditional dish, and it is something you have to experience, because I want everyone who subscribed to my channel to have a better grasp of different cultures. But I would highly recommend that you equip yourself with more knowledge by clicking on the video that just popped up, and I'll see you on the next one.